It came to a shock to her and everybody listening as well. Local 4 alum turned radio host Kim Adams falls victim to an FM radio switchover right in the middle of her show. Kim was hosting her midday show yesterday on 98.7 The Breeze when her phone rang. In the middle of her shift, it was her boss telling her that the station was immediately changing formats and in turn ending her on-air job. Paula Tutman spoke with Kim today about the whole ordeal. To find out you're fired is absolutely devastating for anyone, but Kim Adams today is saying thank you, not only to her audience, but to her boss. For Kim Adams, a veteran public figure in Metro Detroit, yesterday the music literally stopped at high noon as she was broadcasting her radio show on 98.7 The Breeze. So it was literally right in the middle of my show. Um, you know, we went from playing Frosty the Snowman in the morning to the Killers and Nirvana in the afternoon. Today she is worried. I'm just going to keep it real, Paula. It, I, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. It, 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 I didn't want to. Um, I had to. So I made my bed. It sounds so simple, but I, I made my bed so I wouldn't get back in it. But she is anything but angry. I want to thank my boss at 98.7 The Breeze, which sounds so strange because I got fired in the middle of my show without warning. Um, but you know, that same boss that fired me also hired me two years ago when I had, actually I think I was still in cancer treatment at the time and had never worked in radio. Kim has had to become a professional reinventor. She has had stints on television, done bits in films, loved her radio job, and her most important work has been as a single mother of five. And while she is firm in her faith that God is stealing her for important work, yesterday that steel started to melt. I'm tired of, at my age, reinventing myself over and over and over. How many times? Um, Every time you have to get back up again, it takes a toll. Yet when she and I spoke this morning, the first words out of her mouth were not about herself. They were about others. I'm sure there's another single mom out there that got fired yesterday as well. And she doesn't have, you know, a TV station to talk about it to or hundreds of people contacting her on Facebook, giving support. So I'm talking to that mom and it is terrifying. Again, the problems that I have are so minimal compared to a lot of people, but I have enough to where I can empathize. I know what they need to hear because it's what I need to hear. I don't give advice. I give understanding. I don't have advice. I don't know how to fix it. I can't fix it for you, but I do understand. You asked me what I needed. That's what I need. I need to find a way to help other people. Paula Tutman, Local 4.